Okay, so I have this crazy idea for a movie. It takes place at this school, and there's all these characters. You got your artsy types, your guidos, your preps, all those kind of characters, you know. And they're all a little bit eccentric, a little bit crazy. A little bit, yeah, you know. The song is great too, you know. Well, the size. Yeah, like that. song is delicious. Tony Wow Wow, he's just popping. Um, if I could describe myself in one word, popping. Something no one knows about me. I got a tattoo, I got a tattoo of the Loch Ness Monster on my right ankle and it's and it's fist pumping. But I don't tell any, I don't let anyone know my parents. I don't know if they're I don't know if they're cool with their tat like they're all Italian, you know, old school. I don't know if they're good with the tattoos and stuff like that. But yeah, hey don't tell anyone, alright? So we have our prep candy. She's kind of a know-it-all, wants to do everything perfect, obsessed with prom kind of girl. You know that kind. Chatter's her jock boyfriend from Texas, who, I don't know, he's kind of an idiot. Well, I see myself becoming a professional lacrosse player, um, living in, taking over my dad's mansion. Probably, he'll be dead by then, I mean, five years, long time, so. Uh, I don't know, M married to candy, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, I might, might leave my options open. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty into the whole uh, having multiple wives thing. I think that's pretty cool. So, did you guys read Act 1, Scene 3 last night? Yeah, well, mm -hmm. not exactly. I touched on it a little bit. I, you know, no. I, maybe a little bit. I'm, I'm new. That's not an excuse. Yeah. Just because you're new no, is, no. It means like a Okay, I'll part. explain it. So in the scene, Hamlet's father comes to him as a ghost and he tells Hamlet that he has to go get revenge on his uncle because his uncle actually killed him. So, it's like betrayal, like family betrayal. How do you guys feel about betrayal? Oh God, I totally understand. I totally understand. Like, my dad, he totally betrayed the United States of America. Do you guys understand that? Like, he left Texas, where I'm from, and totally just peaced out and to come to this, like, awful, cold, terrible place. Uh, I was kind of betrayed because when I came back here, because I was only gone to Japan for like a year, you guys all don't know who I am, and apparently I'm new now. So, I don't know what's up with that. Whoa, 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 just no, just uh, hold on, hold on a second, Jeremy. Um, Chad, how are you from Texas? Uh, you don't sound like you're from Texas. You sound like you're from freaking something. Well, he had an accent when he first came. Yeah, well, it's because my mom's from Britain, and you know, she came over in that whole Boston Tea Party thing, and then moved down to Texas. And, uh, yeah, I just, you know what, I picked most of my speaking up for my mother because clearly we all know that uh, mothers, you know, teach your children how to speak. My name's not Jeremy, it's Gordy. Okay, alright, alright, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, whatever. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chad, that makes no sense. The Boston Tea Party did not happen this year. It happened, or like, whatever, whenever you came, whenever your mom came to this country. So, are you guys going to prom? You know, it's coming soon. 
yeah, I'm going, but I, I, I haven't asked anybody. But you know what? My mom is actually 98, okay? She came over when she was a young lass. So, you know what? You, be quiet. Um, I don't know who I'm bringing to prom yet, because I just got here. Yeah, 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 the girl I asked uh, rejected me. Uh, I'll find someone else. That, how does that work if your mom's 98? That, what the? I am confused by your birthing order. Well, you know what's funny is uh, I haven't been asked either. Yeah, that is kind of funny. I mean, you have a boyfriend, so it makes sense that he'd ask you. That's kind of weird, eh? Yeah, well, I guess uh, I guess your boyfriend is not good. A guy smells like corn chips. Hey, you know, Felix, that girl in your math class, she's been looking you up. Yeah, I guess she's all right looking. I'll, I'll try it out. I'll, I'll ask her. So, uh, when are you planning on asking this girl to prom? Don't know yet. Did you know corn chips were uh, Texas's main export? I'm just, I don't know. I just thought I'd shout that random fact out. I like corn chips. That, how does that make sense? I didn't know corn chips came from Texas. I thought they were like, some sort of like, Tennessee stuff. Okay, guys, we need to get back on topic. Like Hamlet here? Come whoa. on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you're mistaken. Corn chips, Texas. Texas, corn chips. Yeah. Whatever, man, okay? I didn't know corn chips came from Texas. Hamlet's boring as hell. I can't stand the prom. And you know what? You gotta, you gotta find a girl, man. You gotta find a girl to take to the prom. Yeah, well, I guess. I mean, I was thinking of going solo, you know, seeing if I could just wheel as many girls as I possibly can. Because, I mean, mm. look at this flow and this pop collar. Like, I mean, women just flock to this. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you would know. Then there's Vicky. She's totally quiet and just keeps to herself. I've honestly never even said two words to her before. If you could change one thing about your life, what would it be? If I could change one thing about my life, uh, I think my I think I wouldn't change anything because my life's pretty perfect in regards that I, uh, you know, don't have any friends. But that, besides that, I would change the fact that. I'm not recognized for my skills because I'm a, I am a, I am a, I'm, I do, I do things and I don't get recognized for that stuff and uh, you know if I had like, if I had some, if I had a block of wood I would build myself a boat and sail to like, I don't know, some island, like the Canary Islands and I would catch some birds and just let them free on a farm. There's good old Canadian Gordy. Goes to Japan for a year and now everyone thinks he's Japanese. Who would have thought? If I had to describe myself in one sense, I'd say I love hockey and maple syrup. So are we still hanging out after school today? Well, I have lacrosse, but for sure after. Sounds good. I'm hungry. I think I'm going to get a snack. No, wait. I got this. Don't worry. Oh, you know, you're just so sweet to me. I try my best. Chad, what is this? Twisted Pleasure. And what are you planning on doing with this? Well, not having kids, that's for sure. You know this goes against everything I believe in. Yeah, well, everything I believe in is not having children. Well, I believe that we're not going to hang out after school today. Are you kidding me? God, women are so sensitive. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay, so I got this piece of gum in my mouth. Huh? I've been chewing it for a while. I'm going to stick it on this fountain. And that nerd Felix is going to uh, take a drink. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ah! You? What? what? You in the blue what? sweater? Go! Yeah, run! Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, five years, I'm going to do... I'm going to take over Action Cooker's job and be the host of Pranked, MTV Pranked.
Love that show. Now Felix, he's kind of the artsy douche type that nobody likes. He always tries to get people to come to his art exhibits and whatnot, but no one wants to look at that crap. Tony Wow Wow. Now he's a nice guy, tries to bond with everybody, always says hello, likes to party. Good fella. Gordy, what it is, man? What it is? Right. I just wanted to like formally introduce myself. I'm Tony Wow Wow. Tones. The biceps of the school, you know what I'm saying? Nice what it is, bro. you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just, just running. <laughs> just came from over there? Yeah. I've been drinking a little. Uh, so how are you? I just wanted to, like, I don't know, you would like, I don't, I don't want you to feel like, it feels like everyone is going to be giving you a hard time. I just want to know I'm here for you, you know what I mean? It's cool. You need someone to go to, you go to me, because like, I know what it's like. You're like the new guy from Japan. I was in the same boat, you yeah, know what I, I mean? I was here in grade 10. Buddy, it's okay, all right? I was like, I was that kid from like, little Italy, you know, that little Italian boy. No one respects me, you know what I mean? Weren't you here in like kindergarten? That's not the point, Gordy. I mean, look at me now. Look at me now. You know what I mean? Look at me now. You know what I'm saying? You like that? It's, it's you can do that. It's sick. Give it a go. Give it a go. Let's do it. Let's double up. Let's double up. No, I'll go left. You go right. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It. Yeah. That's how it's done, man. Yo, it's party this weekend, man. I'll hit you up. Come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I gotta go. I gotta go. All right. See ya. If I could change one thing about my life. Definitely that I didn't go to Japan. I don't know. Hey mom, I just need, uh, I need a ride home from school. Talking to Mama Chan, are we? Yeah? Uh, Gordy? Gordy Chan, are we? You know? Just, I like your hat. Is that from Japan too? No, I got it before I went to Japan actually. You, really? I, what? You, where, you were not born in Japan. No, I'm not, I'm not Japanese then, at all. How do you explain these squinty eyes that your glasses need to fix, clearly? Uh, and this not, clearly not authentic Japan shirt. That is uh, awkwardly buttoned, I, just, I might I say. I got this when I went to Japan. That, I was here in like, grade 10. I, I've never even uh, seen you before. How could you be here in grade 10? Aren't you new from the States? Uh, like, no. No. I've been here longer than you have. Trust me. Right. Hey, Mom, you still there? So, uh, ever, I'm doing a study on uh, the Japanese lifestyle, you know? Like, I'm doing this big-ass art thing. And uh, I just need to know, since you, since you live there and you're Oriental, pretty, pretty Asian, you know, and uh, I just want to know, like, how, how the sakura blossoms and, and how the landscape looks, you know, like, and uh, I know you can help me, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to catch up. From the, catch me a better time. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Gordy, how are those Japanese game shows? Uh, okay. I know, eh? I'm guessing you want to ask me something about Japan too? Come on, I don't do that stuff in Japan. No? But you guys, you drink that sake stuff, huh? Yeah? You like I tried it once. I had the runs for a week, but it's good. It's alright. I don't know. It sounds uh, personal. Anyway, anyway, I'll give you, look, I'll give you the deets. You got a number or something? I'll give you the deets, you know what I'm saying? And then, like... Just look me on Facebook, yeah? All right, Facebook? What do you go, like, Gordy? Or you have, like, you have, like, a Japanese name, don't you? I have a friend Gordy. from China. His name, like, they call him Keith, but that's not his real name, you know? That's like, it's like a Canadian Gordy. name. But, like, Gordy. his real name is, like, Chi Wong. I don't know. Just Gordy? Just Gordy, So, like, man. Go... Go D? Go... Just Gordy, yeah. Go Chi? Just, just Gordy. Just Gordy? Yeah. Hey, whatever. Why, whatever. Let's right, see ya. Now changing one thing about my life, that's the most difficult thing, because clearly, as I stated before, I'm perfect. So, I, I think, I think a, a tad a bit of humility, maybe. I mean, nah, nah, I'm good, we're good. I don't think I can change anything about myself.
All right, so I get into the room a little bit early the other day. I like to get there a little early sometimes, let the hair kind of adapt to the atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? There's different temperatures in the school, different rooms and stuff. You know what I mean? What? Anyway, I get there, Felix is in the room, and I'm like, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna do my own thing anyway, you know what I'm saying? So I look on, he, he's up at the board, he's drawing this, there's this, it's a pretty good looking guy, I don't know, I'm looking at him like, okay, whatever, you know, he's dressed pretty nice, and then I see the hair, you know what I mean? I see the hair, I'm like, he was drawing me, that was so, so weird, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say, I'm like, I don't even know how to confront it, I'm just sitting there, you know, like it was a pretty good morning, things just went from like, things went from popping to dropping, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't even know what to do, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, okay, I gotta get out of here, it's pretty awkward, I don't, I don't know what to do, Felix is a weird guy, I don't know what his issue is, I don't know if he's, is he gay, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even want to deal with him right now. I'm just gonna do my own thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it, keep it real, keep it Tony. You know what I mean? And he can do whatever he wants, but leave me out of it. You know what I mean? Leave me out of it, Felix. I don't get it. What is the worst part of your day? My failed attempt at pranks. I hate fails. So my last prank, I was putting saran wrap on a toilet seat, and. Me and Brandon, we, we, read, we went in after he was filming me, like always, and uh, we went into the, the washroom, and I went over to the toilet seat, I put the saran wrap on there, and we waited for about like half an hour or so, and uh, I, I needed to go to the washroom really bad, so uh, I, I, I'm just talking to Brandon, I'm like, yeah, I gotta go to the washroom, I'll be right back. So then when I went in there, uh, my friend of mine was in there and he was distracting me. And then when I sat on the toilet seat, I forgot that the saran wrap was there and I epically failed and pff, went everywhere. It was disgusting. If you could ever change one thing about your life, what would it be? I wanna actually succeed in a prank. I've never done that before. So there's always been a constant squabble between Chad and Gordy, you see, because Gordy kind of likes candy. And the other day, they got into a little bit of a scuffle in the hall, as you're about to see. So I don't know why Gordy thinks he can just push up on candy like that. Like, she's definitely my property. Like, no. He didn't just do that. Like, I can't, no, like, I can't even believe it. So, uh, I was talking to Candy A, and I was just asking her for a note for English class, and then, uh, Chad decides to come up and trying to get my face something about Candy, you really need to step up. Like, I don't understand why you're talking to people like this. Like, he's Japanese. Oh, you man, don't even talk to about my girlfriend. Stop. It's just my friend. They're just talking about school. It's ridiculous. Stop. Just hey, stop. Hey, stop. I don't know where Gordy gets off. Like, but I took, but I took it to him. Like, look at my hand. Like, I hit him so hard in the face. Like, oh, should have been there. Should have, everybody should have seen it. He'd, hit, he'd try to fight me, but I kind of let him win because I didn't want him to like, feel too bad. I didn't want to hurt him so he could still go to prom, you know? So I just fake punch and uh, I just fell in the bathroom so he'd just leave me alone. How do I know that, Chad? Because I was just trying to protect you. From I, what? I, I just don't want to lose you. I'm not going anywhere, but if you keep fighting with people, then I am going somewhere. Woody well, likes you so much. Have you never seen the way he looks at you, Candy? Mm, he's only been here for a day. It doesn't matter. It's the looks that he gives you. It's not how long he's been here. I just don't want to see you get taken away from me. Well, he doesn't like me, Chad. You don't know that. 
Okay, yo, if I was stuck on an island with just one person, it'd be Vicky. Cause she's hot, you know what I mean? She's, she's hot. Hot. I still sit in a booster chair. My mom still feeds me. Something about me that no one knows. Well, I am an advent. I, I love to just take a bunch of hamsters and just let them run around in my grandmother's basement as she and she chases them. I could change one thing in my life. My ears. They're, they're small. People always come up to me and they're like, Yo, Tony, what's with your... You know, they're all up in my face. Like, they're all up in my biceps. Like, Tony, your, your ears are like... I don't even know. Are they that small? But I guess I could, I could get them a bit bigger, if anything. Then maybe I could fit in my diamond. I can't even fit in my diamond studs. I bought these diamonds. I can't even fit them in there because the guy said the, this part is too small or something. I don't know. So the little shrimpy Ned, the prankster I was talking about, had this great idea to set off a car alarm and have it go on forever and ever. Well, huh, that worked out well, didn't it? Go off and keep going off and off and off, and he, so he can't shut it off. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. I found it on YouTube. Oh, I can't wait to try it out. Frickin' explosion and whatnot, wonderful. Okay, when I thought of the plan, I did not expect the car to blow up. I, 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 the, I think I killed someone. I committed murder. I don't think I'm gonna prank again. So you guys, I got this crazy idea for a TV show. You know how it looks like when dogs are eating peanut butter, they're like licking their lips all over, trying to get every last bit off their cheeks and stuff? Well imagine, every episode is just a different animal eating peanut butter. It'd be freaking awesome! Oh my god, guys, I just had the craziest dream. You were in my dream, and so were you. And you were there. All of you guys were there. Okay, 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 we're going to begin. All the youngers and maidens, are we ready for? Chico's and Chica's, handjes uit de zakken. We gaan een beetje herrie maken. What? Yeah!